So the other segments went kind of long, as they usually do. And some of the games I wanted to get to tonight, I will not be able to do so. But I can check out a couple Spooktober games, and hopefully we'll find something good. Um, I'm going to try out Water Womb World, because this has been... Like, some, this game has just been staring at me for months. So I want to see what this is. Though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstitions. The mysticism, the rituals, I know they are all articulations of a deeper material fact. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origin man, origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever to finding the truth. Who is the origin man? I am heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call Gaspar's Zone. I have everything I need in my submersible, submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. So, uh, soon I will tread out on the holy seabed where the spirit blew life into the in create mantle. I have lit my path with the submersible's lights. It is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for specimen collection. Going to need both if I'm going to do my research. Oh, okay. Nice mirror. Even with my lights, it is still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they are on, I'm sure I'll be fine. I just have to remember that the entrance back into the lab is the furthest spot south. I hope to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope, as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember that if I sift at one position, it would be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one live sample via my net, and also two samples from sifting. That should be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. I found post lapsarian Adamite Skull. I'm putting the volume up, chat. I don't know if there's going to be a sudden spike in volume, but just be careful. Like, you know, be aware of that. Looks quite old. It may reveal something. I'll study it back when I get to the lab. When I get back to the lab. This is a weird fucking game. You don't really have a lot of spots that you can check out. A dive mask. Likely an older make by the looks of it. It only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back at the lab. What the fuck was that? Got him. I'll check out the specimen when I get back to the lab. I have been blessed with a bounty to research. It is time to go back and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. <clears throat> Even though I have been down here but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, the original temptation, was that God opening the mind too. I am here alone. But I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit 
and a connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I can feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vaster whole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely by my own... Well, as I have said, I should get to work. Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis, to the birth of all creation. They lived to be very, very old, and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density, yes, one of the pillars of aqua edenic studies, is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed since such a time, and the form the sons of Adam take now is very different. Underwater people? I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I'll load up the next sample. This mask would prove that I am not the first one to explore Gaspar's zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by the church. There are certain divisions of the papal conclave, papal conclave, who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions? And what did they discover? Where are they now? I'll take a look at the next sample. Amazing. This fish may very well have been alive during the time of the pre-deluge patriarchs. This very well may confirm the theory of Gaspar's zone being located in or around Edenic ground. But how? Some of the suspension of some some of suspension of space time. Some of suspension of space time. But how? Some suspension of space time, or some biological deceleration of the aging process. I must conduct a more extensive search. Soon I should go out for more samples. What was that? A whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. Lights are out. Damn, but something stirs in me. Oh lord, even in this darkness, I know you are within me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. Oh, hi. Son of Adam, I beseech thee, your forebears abandoned the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place or you will exchange one life for another. Die as a man or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your god is to return, Origin Ward, back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. Son of Adam, I beseech thee. I beseech thee. I beseech thee. A an angel? An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. Their visage even matches their description in the deciphered Genesis. Apocryphon. To see such sights, can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh and God. I can't postpone my search any longer. I am closer than ever, and I will find the truth. I must find more samples. Cool eye now. Very, very good. Time to change it up. I ought to find two live specimens and one object in the silt. I feel as if I barely even need this oxygen underwater anymore. I am closer to God than ever. <laughs> I 
reject modernity, return to fish. Oh, the salmon. He's becoming the salmon. I like this, though. This has got a cool vibe. I've apparently played something by this developer before, but I don't remember specifically what it was. Discover my body. Oh, I kind of remember that. Is that where the body was getting more and more fucked up? Was it, like, mushroom-related? Yeah, I remember that now. Check out the specimen when I get back to the lab. Interesting. This coral's color is similar to the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fish. I should collect it. It has been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I'm reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark. The undifferentiated infinitude, incomprehensible to the created mind. But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. It is strange, perhaps it is just exhaustion, exhaustion from my swimming, but I feel a bit dizzy. A beautific lightness has entered my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me just at the moment I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there is nothing to do but press on. Deathless fish. This fish is even older. Amazing. Almost impossible. There is some common link between this life form and our own. I notice as well this fish, as well as the others, are lacking eyes. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean, but even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some thing. All of a sudden I feel... So old. Impossibly old. The Ancient of Days. Time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan imprinted in all things. How old is it? This fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at the next thing. What does it mean? Unknown error, studded with proto-human neuron, hyper-capable of creating consciousness field, womb of God, error, error, error. I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing, perhaps decompression sickness? But it seems greater than that, like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so... The light. Another angel? Oh lord, I can feel your love. Water womb world. That really is like a meat. Womb. Hunger. I am. I am hunger. Go and join angels. Join God. Must find it. I should have looked in the mirror. Feed on coral. More. Ha! <laughs> 
This is fucked. Water womb world. I don't believe I have any more opposable thumbs. This is a little blood bagel esque. Yeah, it was cool. It was very short, but good atmosphere, good writing and stuff. I, I enjoyed it. Works well in the context of a collection of games. Um, unfortunately, I don't have time for anything with too much more. But I can do a little bit more. This is a game called Spookware. Need to lower the game a little bit, but yes, very cool so far. Oh, man. Oh, this thing is a little tough to use. This is really cool, but yeah, I'm, I'm miserable at it so far. Where is Nosferatu? <laughs> But he's on the other end. Whomst. Not enough. Oh, that's a tough thing to do. You have to hold it. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. Oh, where is he now? He's wacky. too much, just a little bit. I can't, like, turn the chainsaw on. Damn it. This one is awful. I hate that one. I'll go a couple more times, but it's cool though. This is really great. All right, so I got that one down. Uh -huh. 
I love how the, like, everything's all wobbly. It's like perfect for this type of game. Mjordar. No slender this time. Uncle Slendy. Hell yeah! yeah! time with it a bit, but it's still tough. I just can't seem to do that one either. So everything's fail. I'm gonna fail miserably, but you know what? We had fun. If I get any of the ones I failed at before, I'm still going to fail them because now they're even faster. Ooh, failed on the abduction level. All right, so be it. Cool game, though. Um, really, 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 like, good concept, borrowing the WarioWare. Uh, I wonder if... Hang on a minute. There's something unique if you get to the end. Yeah, I believe it. I think I can do one more. This one seems really short. It's called Sentient. So there's one game, there's one notable exception. Um, and I even had some Steam games too that I was thinking about checking out if we had more time, but let's just, uh, let's do this last one. So, okay. Forma. Yeah, we're, we're definitely heading into the yam to make up for some time. absorbed by the game's sounds. But yet, I'm waiting for a thing to happen.
Okay. That blur is like too much. How do I throw the ball? Oh, mouse too, okay. So there's a fence in there somewhere. What? Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Getting old boy vibes from this. Okay, I'm in the center. Stand in the... You know the rules, let's begin. Task... 4,005. Grab the ball and throw it. Place the ball in your sleeping block and return to the center. Well done. Cookie. Floor cookies are fine too. Use your new toy to answer the question. Throw the ball to the left to say yes. Throw it to the right to say no. Do you like the cookie? Yes. Do you feel your body? Well, no, because I'm playing a video game. You no longer own your body. Do you feel contained? Yes. Oh, wait, that's no. Oh, fuck. Yes. Are you aware of yourself? No. Do you fear without a body? Yes. Do you exist without a body? No. That's getting philosophical now, but let's say for, no for now. You are this room. Is your reality a simulation? Well, yeah, I'm playing a game. We see that you wrote in your sleeping block, we are not satisfied. Your life isn't real. Reality is simulated. You're, you're worth less than a tasty cookie. Vinny, you said no? All right. I did say no. Time to relax. You can entertain yourself with your toy. Hey, we here on YouTube videos like the tastiest cookies. That's why, if we take you to the containment unit, you can play with a ball and get cookies to your heart's desire.
at YouTube Bakeries. When I play games like this and I hear a noise, like in the real world, that doesn't belong, I get a little freaked out. I wish it wasn't using blur. Entertainment time is over, do not touch the ball. Place your back on the wall on the left, facing the wall on the right. Close your eyes. A person, the shape of a person. I don't know if this is monkey. Open your eyes. Meet your neighbor. It's always hungry. That's a monkey. Walk in circles around the room three times. Turning towards your left. It's like Chrono Trigger. I like cookies. I'd probably do this stuff. Share your toy with your neighbor. <laughs> that, that was just straight up a Donkey Kong noise from Mario Kart 64. Rotate in place le Sorry chat, we gotta get dizzy now. There's literally a dizzy system in this game. I want to be with a monkey. Hang out with a monkey fella. Mm. 
We are having fun. Throw it back. Oi! I heard noises from the other room. Like, I think she was talking to the monkey. <laughs> Walk from... This is me streaming simulator. Specifically when she told me to spin in a circle. Does the cookie make you happy? No. Do you like making others happy? No. Would you like to become a tasty cookie? Yes. You will become a cookie. Nice. I'm waiting to become cookie so I can sell them at the bake sale. We know your small business has a lot of needs, but dessert shouldn't be one of them. We here at Monkey Cookie wish to provide you and your entire office with affordable, delicious, and naturally sourced cookies. Stop. What? <laughs> neighbor wanted to play? Sleep. Become cookie. <laughs> what does that say? God, res protect. Please, God, protect me. Please, God, protect my soul. This was, if that was the whole thing, then that was, um, 
Oh, it's a playable teaser. PT. Uh, yeah, psychological fuckery. Memorable. If you tell me, like, two years from now, Vinny, do you remember the game with the spooky houses where you had to shoot the skeletons? I might be like, I don't know which one. But if you said, Vinny, um, do you remember the game where you had to throw the tennis ball? I would be like, yep. And you get a cookie? Yep. And God protect my soul? Yep. I mean, the loud, scary monkey stuff with the... <laughs> with the Silent Hill monkey, like, metal clang wasn't the most like I wasn't like shitting my my pants or anything but I still enjoyed that it was definitely weird and there's some you know philosophical and psychological horror in there too and I like that I usually prefer that so